Hey everyone, welcome back to MDC Technology Central. Today I'll be showing you how you can install Windows XP mode on Windows 10. But first, I'll explain what Windows XP mode is. Essentially, it was an add-on to Windows Virtual PC that allowed a user to install a fully licensed copy of Windows XP Service Pack 3 in a virtual machine and use it alongside Windows 7 so that you could run Windows XP programs on the Windows 7 desktop. However, it's been years since Windows XP mode launched and it still only supports Windows 7. I'll be showing you how to install Windows XP mode on Windows 10 in an easy step-by-step -step process. Before we get started, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications using the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Your first step is to download VMware Workstation Player. There is a direct link in the description to the download page. Open your web browser and go to the link in the description to download VMware. Scroll down and under Workstation 15.5 Player for Windows, click Download Now. Your browser will download the VMware installer program. When the download is done, click it to run the setup program. You will need administrator permission. If Microsoft VC Redistributable has not been installed on your computer before, the installer will ask you if you'd like to restart an hour later to finish installing it. Click no, then save all of your, your files and restart your PC. If you're already ready, you can click yes and your PC will automatically restart. When your PC has finished restarting, reopen the VMware installer. The setup wizard will open. Click next, accept license terms, then click next. Click next. If you'd like to join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program, click Next and leave the box checked. Otherwise, uncheck it and click Next. Verify if you want to have shortcuts to VMware Player to be placed on the desktop and the Start menu. Then click Next. Once you're ready, click Install to begin the installation process. Depending on your hardware configuration, the time it will take to install may vary. When it is done installing, click Finish. Next, open VMware Player. If you have a license for VMware Player, you can enter it now. Otherwise, click Continue. Then click Finish. To begin setting up Windows XP mode, you'll need to create a new virtual machine. Click Create a new virtual machine to open the setup wizard. If you have a Windows XP installation disk, insert it into your DVD drive. If you don't have one and you have a Windows XP installation ISO file, click Install a Disk Image File, then click Browse to find your ISO. If Windows XP is detected from the ISO or physical disk, you can click Next. If the setup wizard doesn't say Windows XP has been detected, there may be installation issues. If you have a Windows XP product key, enter it. Then type in the name and the password that you'd like to use on your Windows XP virtual machine. On the next page, you can click to change your name of your virtual machine or where it is saved. If you're okay with the current configuration, click Next. Next, you can choose the disk size for Windows XP to be installed to and how the virtual hard drive will be stored, either as a single file or multiple. When you're done, click Next. The next screen will show you the hardware configuration. If you'd like to change it, click Customize Hardware. I recommend giving Windows XP at least a gigabyte of memory. For this tutorial, I'll give Windows XP 4 gigabytes. Oh. 
When you are done, click finish. VMware Play will ask you if you'd like to download and install VMware tools. Click download and install to download them and VMware Player will automatically install it when it is ready. Windows XP will start to be set up and installed automatically using easy install. Depending on your hardware configuration, the time it takes to install may vary. If you need to enter a product key, there are volume license keys for Windows XP in the description. Click, click Next. After a while, you reach the Windows XP desktop. When you reach the desktop, click Player and then click Manage. If installed, VMware Tools is grayed out, shut down your virtual machine. Reopen VMware Player and right click the VM. Click Settings. Select the CD drive and click Remove. Repeat this for the floppy drive. Click Add to add your CD slash DVD drive back. Next, start your virtual machine back up. When you're back on the Windows XP desktop, click Player, then Manage, then Install VMware Tools. The installer program should automatically start. When the installation wizard opens, click Next. Choose Typical for the setup type, then click Next. Then click Install. When the installation of VMware Tools has completed, click Finish. Then click Yes in the dialog box to restart the virtual machine. When Windows XP has completely restarted, click the Unity icon at the top to start Unity mode. When Unity mode is running, you'll be able to run Windows XP applications on your desktop. I'll demonstrate by opening my computer and Internet Explorer. To open the Windows XP Start menu while in Unity mode, press Control Shift U on keyboard and you can start applications using that. When you're done using Unity, reopen VMware Player and click Exit Unity. Doing this will bring all of your applications in their current state back into the virtual machine itself. And that is how you run Windows XP mode on Windows 10. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.